awards have been handed out. And uh, honestly, I mean, giving GT and Milton a, a new mouse right before uh, before the, the match is like handing them a loaded gun. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if they're not going to pop it out just yet. So the, nice, the mice are going to slide nicely into the desk for now as they uh, go ahead and get this match started. Uh, honestly, this is the match I've been looking forward to. Yeah, me too. One Hands of them. On. I'm one of many, but definitely this one. And GT also just received the Warzone trophy. Yeah. Apparently, yeah. He, uh, you're not the only one who loves him. Oh. Um, well, I should be maybe a little more competitive. Yeah, then. apparently Warzone <laughs> also thinks he's an amazing player to watch and so entertaining to watch yeah. that he actually received that amazing trophy. Yeah, a lot of you work know, going into that for sure. I wouldn't mind have, having <laughs> one of those in my you know, gallery at home. All right, right, yeah. I didn't know where that sentence was going to go, but uh, yeah. I'm glad we got through it together. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so they're going to be here on the server. I'll just take a quick look at these guys, these uh, these crazy, crazy dudes. Milton and GT, uh, both giving us a ton of fantastic games across 2v2, 4v4, and now Duel. Right here in the semifinals, uh, over on the other side of the semi-bracket, of course, uh, we are looking at... Uh, that recall Loctar match that just finished up. Uh, Loctar doesn't get to uh, rest just yet. Uh, he has to uh, wait for the loser of this match to go into a bronze fight, which we're going to be seeing. So for everybody who enjoyed Loctar's antics earlier on, don't worry, we get to see some more of that uh, against either Milton or GT. Recall, on the other hand, is waiting in the wings on the other side of the bracket, uh, the other side of the uh, grand final. So we've got one two, three games more to go tonight. Yep. And uh, I just got word that um, for everybody who wanted to see a little bit more Bulat action on camera, well, just wait, because we might be able to satisfy that desire. Yeah, mm. looking forward to that. <laughs> but yeah, Milton and GT, of course, uh, performing incredibly well. GT showed up at QuakeCon and did great. Not maybe as great as everybody expected, but uh, you know, it was his first land and uh, he came in kind of, uh, kind of hot. Uh, I think uh, Bogo was uh, kind of in the same boat, actually. Um, but now he's done a lot of boot camping. He's done a lot of practice, and he's uh, got a few more lands under his belt. So now he's been uh, a force to be reckoned with. Yeah. And what a force. Milton, on the other hand, or on a other hand, uh, is fond of saying, or at least he told me once, so I've been repeating it ever since, that he's uh, not really much of a dueler. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. I actually talked to uh, Carapace after the game. Yeah. And he was like, well, it doesn't matter if he hasn't played. He's like a machine. He makes all the correct decisions. And he's like, there's nothing you can do. You just lose. No matter what you try, uh, Milton reads it. And uh, it's like he knows everything. Well, if anything, GT, I would say, would be a difficult player to read uh, yeah. just because uh, his movement is crazy when it needs to be and he's absolutely still when he needs to be or maybe even when he doesn't need to be. But uh, it's got to make it difficult for somebody like Milton after all. But uh, he's an incredibly uh, smart guy. We're going to have to see uh, how far he can go here. Yeah. All right, so currently they're uh, kind of practicing around in DM4. I'm not sure if that's where they're going to be starting. Uh, have they called their maps? Do, do, do. Oh, okay. I guess yes. they have, yep. All right, cool. So the first map is going to be DM4. And this time we're going to get it right. Yep. <laughs> um, For once. Yep. And I'm assuming that this is Milton's pick because he knows that GT and Mur in the two-on-two, -two, they are not very skilled at DM4, he says. Really? Yeah, so that's why I'm assuming uh, Milton picked this map. Now, off the bat, Milton does get the the red armor, although he almost got pinned down by GT, but he manages to clinch the first frag and as well as the second one. That rocket took a second for it to register with me, just how good that was. Yeah. Holy crap. But GT's going to be able to be on the rebound here, coming back into mid. The fight's nowhere near over. Now, of course, here on DM4 today, we've seen a lot of slow matches. We've seen a lot of really intense matches. And I think between Milton and GT, we can expect the latter for sure. Yeah, GT going the, on the aggressive, but wow. Milton was just waiting for him. GT gets the return frag, though, and uh, so far this... Oh, no! Uh, GT completely misread that spawn. I think he, he thought that uh, the swing spawned top, but actually he spawned red. So that was a big mistake by GT. Well, 
we'll see if he can recover from it here. Milton's going to be taking over the armor area, coming back over the top, not diving down for the red just yet, wanting to see if he can get one more frag on GT. Uh, GT's LG has been all right, but his prediction coming back in the mid, not so much. Milton getting a fairly free red armor and shutting down GT as he tries to escape Mega. Melt back over the top again. GT just looking for some more damage. And this uh, prediction about GT and DM4 might yeah. just be right. Yeah, and of course, Milton is a beast on DM4 as well, so... And there goes the lights. Yeah, the, the brief amount of uh, vitamin D we were getting from those light bulbs yeah. is now gone. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, perfect start for Milton, of course, and I don't know if these two players have practiced any time against each other. I'm not sure how much they played the one in Dallas, Texas, um, and if they ever tried dueling each other. But we're going to be having Milton just kind of haunting mid. Oh, GT actually gets uh, away from him a little bit there. Not sure how far he's going to get without any weapons, but uh, Milton didn't chase that frag. He wasn't so willing without any armor here. No. He's going to get this yellow. Oh, and he's going to get GT as he comes through the teleporter. So brutal, floating him up on top of uh, the LG as well. Yeah, and so far Milton in uh, a pretty dominant fashion. fashion. Uh, getting this lead and GT has an opportunity to get, to get a fragger so I, I mean we've only played like two and a half minutes but uh, yeah Milton keeps getting frags and um, it's not gonna be an easy task for GT not at all and compared to the the recall Loctar match you know there's a lot of uh, running around going on here from GT uh, oh man, and even the grenade spam manages to land a hit here. Uh, this match map really does change depending on whether you're playing it in 2v2 or duel. But it, honestly, at this point, it seems like GT's playing this as if it were 2v2. <laughs> yeah. It's like somebody else is covering yeah. mid, right? I can yeah. just run in there, right? Yeah, but that really doesn't work in duels, of course. And um, yeah, another frag for Milton. And I, I'm, it's, I'm pr it's probably safe to say that this map, I don't think GT, it doesn't seem to expect to win this one. Yeah, because on the flip side, if GT starts to make a bit of a run here, uh, Milton has a lot of defensive options that we've already seen him uh, deploy earlier on in the bracket. So then it would be up to GT to figure out how to smoke out Milton and force uh, now 29 frags. It's a hefty order. Yeah, 30 francs now after just three and a half minutes. And of course, <laughs> if this continues, this uh, could be a really high franc game. Well, I mean, it would be a, a hell of a way to start things off. I mean, giving one to Milton's definitely not the way GT probably wanted this to go. No, but then again, um, I'm sure that GT is aware that uh, DM4 is going to be a very, very hard map for him against Milton. Um, and <laughs> evidently, I think... <laughs> that is a uh, very co uh, correct assessment and uh, yeah very rarely you end up seeing this happen a little bit where you have somebody you, you know doesn't want to forfeit out the match uh, can't say no to it but uh, you know this is their way of kind of forfeiting it just uh, making it a, a warm-up game now the question is does Milton start to uh, lose his edge a little bit here if GT's not forcing him to think much on this map I mean the, the short answer is no. Yeah. <laughs> no, Actually, he's not gonna I, I, I'm be thinking losing further. Like soon. GT, is he gonna get uh, discouraged by his, uh, this uh, this dominant performance by Milton, or is he just does he not give a fuck about this game and uh, about this map at least? Uh, because yeah, this map. We know that he's not just a plus forward player. Uh, anytime we see him on DM2, he's uh, incredibly aware of everything going on at DM2. Uh, even though Dev managed to take a DM2 from him, yeah. it was. Uh, uh, very hard fought M1, and uh, I think I could hear him smiling from here. <laughs> 50 on nil now, only yeah. halfway through. Yeah, this can be a, a 100 nil game if this continues. And, uh, well, at least uh, Twitch, you get to uh, watch <laughs> watch some uh, cool frags from Milton. You guys want a Milton cam? Here yep. you go. Yep. Yeah, so um, Franks and Frags and Frags yeah. and Milton showing why some or most consider him the best player in the entire world. Right. Now, another point of difference between these two, uh, being from, you know, almost opposite sides of the planet, uh, 
you know, people like uh, Recall and Loctar have played together a lot on land for a very long time. And you can see that reflected in their gameplay. You, you saw a lot of uh, anticipation of specific strategies, a lot of, uh, you know, things like rocket jumping to avoid a, a spawn telefrag. Um, just because they've experienced those with each other time and yeah. time again. Milton and GT are, you know, pretty much on their first date here. Well, maybe second if you if you include QuakeCon. But uh, they certainly haven't had the kind of time with each other that would mean that they're really inside each other's heads. No, and I mean, QuakeCon was, uh, I'm not sure that they played any duels against each other. Milton didn't participate in the uh, pre-tournament that, right. that I hosted. And... Uh, um, yeah, that had to be a little bit of a factor for your tournament. The fact that some players wanted to stay a little bit uh, secretive yeah. before the bracket. And um, so, and I'm not sure they even uh, did any prac games against, against each other. So, um, <laughs> but look at this performance from Milton. I mean, 72 to negative one. Yeah, again, though, GT is just... Of, uh, of course, he's just flopping. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> yeah, of course just with that boomstick cess and uh, not a whole lot else. So he's this is probably going to be the biggest score difference that we've had <laughs> the entire tournament, don't yeah. you think? There has been so many amazing matches uh, early in the, the 2v2 and uh, 4v4. Um, I think we both had a little bit of difficulty because of how lopsided some of these matchups were. Yeah. Uh, and of course, later on, things got incredibly high quality. Uh, if anybody missed it, I would urge everybody to go uh, take a look on Twitch for the VODs later. Uh, at some point after getting out of Quake uh, QH Land Rehab, uh, we're going to be cutting and uploading some uh, YouTube VODs. Oh, yeah, that's going to be fun, right? Uh, I'm looking forward <laughs> to it. Oh, man, so many matches. Well, my heart goes out to everybody who is also uh, uh, analyzing and uploading demos. It's going to be a lot of work there as well. So yeah. many matches played over the course of, of three match, uh, three days. Three tournaments yeah. as well. <laughs> three days, three yep. tournaments. No sleep. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, but 80 to uh, 80 to one, and I guess well, we get a Milton cam, and uh, Milton cams are always fun to watch. <laughs> There's a comment here from Patrol that uh, Milton is making a statement here. Honestly, I think if anybody's making a statement, it's GT about DM4. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I would actually agree more to that because uh, Milton is just doing his, it's a giant his uh, thing, thing, and yeah. GT is like really showing that he doesn't really care about this particular map. <laughs> I think he's uh, he's um, he's probably just thinking about the next game and yep. I have no idea which map GT is gonna pick against the Milton. Uh, what? I, I, I don't even dare to to, to venture a guess. Uh, that would be my guess. I'm gonna go ahead and, and put a put a stamp on it. I'm gonna say Blood Run. Really? Yeah. Even though Milton, that's his best map? Yeah. And uh, we've already seen GT uh, do some amazing things on it, on other people who we would have thought uh, would have had an edge on, on Blood Run. And uh, I think GT might also want to prove something there. Yeah. Well, I guess it's uh, definitely possible. I'm going to I'm gonna venture, I guess, and uh, I, I know I said I didn't dare to, but I'm going to say DM6. <laughs> Okay, yeah, uh, we've seen some interesting DM6 matchups there. Uh, GT certainly uh, seems to have no problem calling it. We saw that a few times. Oh, so, yeah, I'd be willing to, to give that a go. But 94 to 1. I haven't seen this in a duel. And oh. GT's is starting to throw out a little bit of LG. I haven't seen him with a weapon in a while, actually. No, and I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you this. I've never seen a game like this. Uh, in any tournament It's a fake ever. score. It's a fake score. GT is yeah. plus forwarding. Yeah, of I think course. Yeah, yeah, of tape. course. Yeah. I mean, you can't look at this and like, oh, yeah. GT is the worst player on the planet. He took a corner of the CRT and, and, and just put it down he's gonna on hit one side of his keyboard. Milton is one more frag. Three seconds. Is he going to get the 100? No. <laughs> no 100 for Milton. <laughs> Poor Milton. He was so, so no, close to the 100. 100 kills, though. Yeah. So uh, a lot of applause for that match. Yeah, well, it was a beautiful show for, for Milton, I sure. guess. Yeah. And I think All I was right. correct. All right. I was wrong, completely wrong. Yep. All right, DM6 it is. So Fine. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> so this game should be a lot more interesting, I hope. Um, and I don't expect Milton to get 99 frags here. No. He did get 100 kills, but he killed himself once. All right. So, uh, or maybe he died in lava. Not quite there. 
but not a hundred score. Okay, so here we go. GT is gonna get the uh, mega spawn while Milton gets the red spawn. Now, it's all about who gets the lightning gun. Actually, they're gonna fight it out in the middle and this is a very close fight. Oh. And GT is gonna get the first frag. He's gonna have to run away though because he's very low and Milton is gonna go for on the offensive. And that's another frag for GT, and he gets the red, and oh, Milton, here he oh, comes goes again, for the LG and they open. trade frags. It's like he forgot that Milton was in the map there. He was pretty low on health and might have needed to get some packs, oh but uh, these rockets, like I said, if anybody was making a statement on DM4, it was GT. Yeah. <laughs> and VTech just kicked in. The tempo of this game thus far is insane. Milton is going to spawn on the red armor, but he's going to go down to some insane rockets by GT. And this is what we want to see. This is action. This is Quake World. This is Quake this World is for DM6. you people. Holy crap. So GT on the move now, incredibly low on armor, reds up in four. GT is going to be looking for some of these peak rockets, but Milton's going to get the punish. Fortunately for GT, he can easily recover on that mega with a rocket launcher there as well. Not bad. GT is going to get the mega and, uh, and the green, so he's equally stacked, but he doesn't have a lightning gun, but neither does oh. Milton, but he drops down to get the lightning gun, and here comes the fight, and some great rockets coming out from GT, and he's going to get the frag as well, and another one on Milton. This is a great start for GT. So once again, control shifts on the basis of whoever just grabbed red armor trying to go get that lightning gun and getting absolutely demolished for it. GT making his way back up top, making sure he's got plenty of... What is what is his mouse? <laughs> oh, he uh, just forgot about the mega for just yeah. a split second, so he had to go back and get it. Yep. And now he has a red and the mega and the lightning gun. So this is going to be a big fight. It could be, but Milton knows about the stack of GT. But oh, Oh, GT just chases down Milton and gets the frag. Duckhunt Dog is going to be chuckling a little bit over that one. 12 on 2 now as GT finds Milton. Oh, wow. And Milton the gets the frag as well. Uh, kind of strangely, but we see a good rocket coming out of Milton. GT on the backup, playing pretty good on the defense. Oh, it was a and dance the tele -frag for the from tele Milton. Yeah. One that GT loses, unfortunately, but it's still 11 now to four with GT spawning up top. Oh, here comes the grenade. Wow, those grenades coming incredibly close to Milton. GT, GT trying to escape through the teleporter. Not going to happen. He's finally going to get uh, teleported there, courtesy of Milton's LG. Going to get that green armor now. Wants to the top of the map. Man, Milton's already there. Oh, I like this. Milton is not going to be very comfortable just sitting on this red anymore. He knows that he needs to uh, find GT at the back of the map. Needs to push forward and push the line if he has any hope of bringing this back together. But so far, the stack and the frags are going his way. Uh, he's shotgunable, though, so this is going to be a dangerous red for both oh! of them. GT goes for it. What is this? Oh, he gets a frag with three health remaining, of course, and then a, a mutual frag. And this game is thus far is so crazy on DM6. This is a plus forward uh, DM6 that we don't <laughs> normally see. Shotgun to Milton who was LGing him. Holy crap. So GT, uh, that didn't really turn into control for him. At least it broke the stride of Milton, but Milton got the red armor spawn. Uh, neither player was really uh, fighting around that area up until that shotgun fight, and it was kind of a, a weirdly timed one with, like you mentioned, this being such a plus forward chaotic game so far, but 12 to eight, and we're not even halfway through. I'm gonna dare to say that this kind of a one-on-one -on -one is the kind of that Milton will actually enjoy. Now, Milton has the LG and he was just flying in there, pushing GT away. And here comes Milton, he's gonna chase, and it's a nice teleported dance, but Milton is just gonna spam. He wants spam. the rockets as well here, yeah. And nobody and dies actually, in that, yeah, amazingly Actually, enough. nobody dies, <laughs> so we just, <laughs> we, we, we continue on. A very oh. brief moment of uh, silence yeah, here. Milton, Milton picks up the Mega. GT could hear that, and he knows he's very inferiorly stacked. Um, Milton drops. Oh, oh, that's beautiful. One and the two nice rockets, and that allows GT to get the lightning gun. Now, Milton, of course, is still so much more stacked than GT, so a direct fight is not going to work for GT against a Milton. And wow. there you go. Baited with that shotgun for sure. Milton down below. Uh, going to be crossing the map here, allowing GT to maybe get a position on this red, but Milton's going to make two, sure that he, it's going to be too dangerous. GT is there, and it might be too late. Whoa, that defensive rocket, though, taking away quite a bit of Milton's health, but unfortunately for him, Milton grabbed the red armor right after that hit, so it's gonna be a fresh one. Plenty of excuse for Milton to Milton aggress this Milton is gonna bait this. GT is not gonna fall for the bait. But uh, this is a Milton on 200, 200. 
and even, that's scary even to a GT. <laughs> So only three frags between them. I've been loving these DM6 these DM6 matches matches yeah, so far. What They've started been very as a close. really crazy plus forward game has actually slowed down yeah. quite a bit now. They're starting to respect each other a little bit. Yeah, and Milton playing the item game, making sure that he's always more stacked than GT. And since he has uh, still still 20 sec 25 left of that mega. He can... Oh, whoa. he's gonna go for the attack. He's gonna be a little bit plus forward anyways. He knows that he can take a fight against GT, but stepping into that teleporter is so, so damn dangerous. Yeah, stack or no stack, it's a, it's a bit of a gamble. It comes down to the head games. And we're gonna have a very, very, <laughs> very... very Gotta be very, very quiet. Very quiet. Red's gonna be up. Milton... It's not going to be able to grab this, of course, but this allows Where him to camp GT? it. <laughs> Milton it. decides to pick up the mega, yeah. I mean the red, and uh, go hunt for GT. Mega's going to be up in five. Where is he? There oh, he is. He was standing on top of the teleporter. the whole time? Yep. Jeez. Of course, Milton has the timing on the mega, so he's going to pick that up and make it and make his way back to the he red armor. He needs to armor. come in for this red, though. Milton is going to be pretty weak here. I don't know if he can justify coming around this corner, and he doesn't go for it. However, GT is still in the lead here by a full three frags with just over three minutes left on the clock. So he can really afford to kind of bait out Milton. Wow. That pop. Yeah, good defensive rocket from GT, and he runs away. Now Milton is going to pick up the mega. He has full... Oh, that's a nice nice little stab there from GT, poking him with the lightning gun. But is he really going to get this? Oh, wow. Uh, Milton is going to get the frag, and possibly the spawn frag. Oh, he's going to get the telly frag and the spawn frag. And they're tied at 12. Three minutes remaining, and Milton still has full control over the items, which is a problem for GT. And there we go. And in the blink of an eye, this entire match changes. Melton now with the frag lead. GT has to turn that aggression back on if he has any hope of uh, putting Milton back on his back leg. Oh, and another oh. telefrag frag from Milton. Eight seconds to red, and Milton is likely going to be taking a, a safe pickup here. Daring GT to come around the corner, it's not going to happen. Yeah, the difference in this game has been the item control of Milton. Right. Not missing a beat, always picking up every single Mega. You're exactly right. Where GT is willing to, you know, maybe leave a red up in order to uh, force a fight, uh, which can be pretty good in the short term. Uh, once he got control of the frags, that did not turn into control of the map. No. And for, for the most part of this game, uh, GT has actually been avoiding Milton, allowing him to run every single item on the map. And he was expecting that. Oh. And another telefrag from Milton. No red armor Following for you. up with another spawn frag. What is he up in? Five telefrags? The crappy thing is that, uh, well, actually, probably the brilliant thing coming out of Milton is that he's forcing GT to take all these fights on the off cycle for the red armor. So even if GT gets a red armor spawn, he's just going to be a sitting duck there. Yeah, Milton being very precise with the timings of his um, telefrags. Actually, of course, it is a <laughs> bit of a gamble, but yep. um, of course, you have as a, as a player, you have a feeling when you can enter the teleporter and when you have a chance of getting a telefrag. And of course, Milton, uh, so far, 100% on that. Yeah. So 24 and 11, this is really starting to run away from GT. Yeah, and GT, he's uh, in the flood mood, uh, flood mode once again. And of course, that's not going to work against Milton. Now, this was a very close game up until the last three minutes. Um, I don't see GT turning this around uh, anymore. Yeah, because if GT manages to make a, a frag run here, even if with a couple spawn frags, eventually Milton's going to get a spawn that gives him plenty of time to find a, a defensive spot. Yeah, so Maybe this... even back up on top of the teleporter. The last 50 seconds of the game. Um, GT, of course, is going to try to get a couple of more frags to feel good moving into the next map. And here may be another telefrag. No, not this time. Not yet, at least. And <laughs> Milton is just going to be like, no, fuck that. <laughs> and, um, yeah, not taking any risks. He wants uh, to have a nice record. Yeah, so final 30 seconds. Oh, and, nice uh, grenade from yeah. GT gets a frag. A bit of a, of a parting favor there, but this will put GT on <laughs> map alert. Nicely done. Five. And oh, axe, okay, axe, no! Oh, Come on, crater. Milton! <laughs> Pick up the axe! <laughs> we want to see some axe kills. Well, we've got one more map, so hold yep. on our hopes. 
All right, five seconds remaining. Three, two, one, and yeah. So this one goes to Milton as well, two to zero. Now this is, was a crazy game. Well, wow. yeah, big applause for this game. What a great advantage for GT at the beginning of that. But uh, yeah, he just could not uh, keep that lead while also staying defensive enough to keep Milton off his back. No, he, re he really tried though. And Milton is gonna pick Arrow Walk, okay? Arrow Walk is... Um, GT is a very good player on this map as well, but so is Milton, of course. Mil Milton is good on every map. Uh, GT, maybe not so much on DM4. Maybe that's his uh, real Achilles heel. Mm. Well, what? how many does he have? That's the problem. <laughs> Against Milton, he might have a few. Yeah, that's true. All right, so it looks like they're taking a, a Yeah, maybe a little breather. breather. <laughs> Those two what maps have been very intense. Okay, Milton's requesting just a second, but there we go. Okay, so airwalk. Yeah, this is the pick of Milton. Uh, maybe not feeling too comfortable on um, on uh, DM2. So here we go. Milton is gonna get the mega and the yellow, and GT of course gets the red. This is how airwalk usually works. When you spawn, yep. one gets the red, the other one gets the mega and the yellow. No huge surprises there, but uh, GT's looking to give Milton a huge surprise with his LG. Oh, and he's going to pop for it. And this is going to be good work from him now. We've seen GT move around Arrow Walk uh, like it was nothing. <laughs> Neutral frag there. Eight seconds to Mega Milton with that initial rocket uh, catching oh, and GT out of the game. Wow. Flag. So and maybe evenly another matched when it comes so to close. the plus four game. And we saw this in uh, DM6 as well, where if they both want to go crazy, they, uh, they're they pretty evenly matched, uh, which is a huge accomplishment for GT. But when it comes to the more defensive game that uh, some maps inevitably turn to, that's where we've seen a little bit of trouble. But Arawaka, uh, you know, arguably affords you less time to set up that defense, so this could be good for him. A little poke uh, by the uh, by Milton. And oops, that's another frag for Milton. And, uh, a little bit of a sloppy play there from GT, eating those uh, rockets, but, you know, he's against Milton's. <laughs> Can't really blame him. All right, so two frags down. This should be a, enough of alert for GT to know. All right, I've got to do something a little different here. Oh, some nice rockets, rockets and another one. Great start. One more will finish off Recall. Oh, no. oh, I mean, to Milton, Jumping not up, Recall. Though. Yeah. Fuck Recall. <laughs> well, well, I mean, there's still time. <laughs> GT taking away uh, right on the spawn as well as LG, and he's so confident with that LG. He says, come on, let's just throw down and go shaft to shaft. <laughs> the relentless aggression coming out of GT, and this is probably why he got the Warzone trophy. Yep. He just never stops. But when the dust settles, do GT's nerves. Yep. Still two frags behind. Red Armor's gonna be up to play for all the spam means. Yay, I'm going for Red Armor now, in case uh, you didn't know. Yeah, it was just making sure that oh. Milton... Oh! The shaft from Milton, and he's gonna get the air rocket, the mid-air rocket to finish him off. He cannot have much health after that, but he still manages to pick up another rocket frag. Uh, make that a third, as he's now extending oh. out to the GT, turning it right back against him. There's the mutual to give a little bit of a reset. Who's gonna get the backpacks full of those lovely, lovely rockets? It's gonna be GT, but no launcher for him just yet. It's gonna be Milton just a four, yep. four frag game. Oof. Make that five. And some crazy meter rockets coming out of both players. And another nice rocket from Milton. Uh, GT, of course, with no stack whatsoever, so <laughs> try to spam him down. He but uh, he, he can't really take a full on engagement. Mm. All right, six on 12 now. Only three minutes elapsed, but GT. Looking for the long-range damage. There's yellow armor and Milton. No, only the one rocket spam there. Looking for him coming around the corner. Doesn't quite nab GT. Down the bottom. GT ready to jump up oh, on the nice mega. Deal. I was like, what's he doing down? Oh, right, mega's coming up. Okay, yeah. yeah, it makes sense. And it worked out nicely. So little traps like that could go a long way for GT if he manages to make them more consistently. So that's a red for GT, and he has the timing on the Mega as well. Milton, of course, is going to get the yellow armor, and he's going to be the defensive spammer for a little bit. But GT, of course, not not wasting a breath, goes relentlessly after Milton. Hey, come back here. Yeah, but how long can he keep this pace up? He wants this to be a safe red, but Milton's going to know exactly where he is and takes about half of it off immediately. 
And the split health packs. Jeez, every time. Eight and fifteen here. So Daring Mid Midtown should have the mega. So this is uh, they are on pretty much equal stacks. Uh, if that rocket actually connected, otherwise GT should probably go oh, for the yellow. Did, did no, he's gonna get a free okay. red. So what does Milton really get a, uh, away with by crossing the map there? I should have seen him around there. Well, he gets the mega and of course the yellow, so he's on a good stack as well. Now they're actually slowing down a little, and just as I say that, here comes the fight, and a beautiful one from GT, and maybe there the spawn frag as well, and no red armor spawn for Milton. <laughs> See, again, GT does, doesn't care how much health he has. He's gonna rocket jump. That's just his normal way of getting around the map. Yeah. His morning commute kind of sucks. Mega is up, and oh, dodging those rockets <laughs> beautifully. No, not today. Still, my one. He needs some armor, though. The red. That's a tough decision at that point between the yellow and the oh. red, but Milton makes a decision for him. He's going to have to go for this yellow, but now he's going directly for a rocket launcher and wants to do some damage and even steal the red away from Milton. He's backing off, surely taking away that yellow himself. Only three frags between them. And Mega is coming up in three rocket seconds. Connected. Holy crap. Oh, and he's just gonna go for it. He's so relentless. <laughs> Jeez. All right. Bye -bye Almost reckless at times. Takes top here. Milton's not gonna aggress. Just a little bit of spam. Oh, but GT having a little bit of uh, trouble when there's nothing to splash against. Nice response out of the teleporter, but that'll leave GT very low on health. Has to be careful on this. Drop. All right, all right. That that was useful. Okay, the Mega should go to Milton as well. Now maybe well GT still gets the red, so they keep trading stacks, which is why this uh, game is still so close. And here comes GT, uh, and Milton dodging the around the pillar. Jeez. And even GT's long-range rockets aren't really finding their mark right now, which is a bit of a problem for him. So six frags down. And some of the spam from GT really needs to start doing some more work. On the on the flip side, a lot of Milton's rockets have been uh, giving GT trouble. Yeah, the, the, the deciding factor in Not all connecting. these games have been the stacks of Milton. He's just controlling the items a little bit better than uh, GT does. He didn't want to give up that fight for Mega either, but... Uh, That'll end up with Milton with red and Mega. Nice bomb GT getting a red spawn finally. This should be uh, a little bit of a breather for him. And this is a, okay. The yellow was just waiting for Milton, but he's still gonna try it. No uh -huh. more ammo though, so you need to back up. But Milton read that. Now it seems like GT is being played a little bit here with these fights. Uh, Milton is not starting them, but he's certainly finishing them, even as GT tries to escape through teleporters. And uh, GT desperately needs a red armor spawn or something now because, well, he gets a frag and now he needs to start uh, getting some more. He's gonna go for the red armor. Uh, I don't know if he picked up the mega. You know, things happen too fast when yeah. these guys play. And maybe another frag? No. Even the LG oh, and Milton, off Milton has bit. started to yeah. understand that GT is just gonna keep attacking no matter what. So <laughs> <clears throat> as long as Milton just shoots behind himself. Yep. He's probably gonna hit GT. He can fly that GT from shaped kite all day. Milton getting some frags here, and this is uh, starting to look more and more as a Milton win, but don't ever count on GT, because nope. once he gets some, a couple of frags and when he gets going. But you know, still, the stack is always bigger on, on, on Milton. He always has more armor, more, more health. But you realize, if GT can't take this map, that means that the bronze match is going to be uh, <laughs> the two? GT and Locust. Yeah. yeah. No, Loctar. We're going to need a higher frame rate, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Loctar and GT against each other, of course, it's going to be complete mayhem. Two very flashy players going uh, yeah, head to head against each other. But still, we do have two minutes remaining of this game. Now, uh, of course, Milton is in a commanding lead. I guess I got to get ahead of the criticism here because uh, my prediction of Blood Run was so bad, they're not even going to play it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Next match, totally Blood Run. No Blood Run played. Well, that's not for a lack of trying from GT here. 
and I think that both players are actually enjoying this uh, this duel. No slow play, only full action all over the place, and he, I, I'm sure even Milton enjoys this duel, this kind of duel. Oh, absolutely, even Milton. If he could be said to be enjoying yeah, he's very picky about yeah. his duels. <laughs> But again, I'm wondering how much of this is just a, a function of, you know, the lack of experience GT and Milton have with each other as players, you know, not really knowing what their preferences are, what their styles are, and uh, learning it all right here, right now is, is a little difficult. Yeah, and I think, I think the big difference is that Milton is uh, adjusting to how GT plays, while GT is just doing his thing. Right, yeah, if, if anything can be said, it's that Milton has been much more adaptable here. Yeah, and I think GT only has one gear, and that's like full, <laughs> full no, throttle. He's also got full stop, as we saw on the uh, on the yeah when he has to, I guess. Yeah, right. that's true. But he doesn't really seem to adjust to his opponent that much. He just do he does his own thing. And 20 seconds remaining, GT gets a red armor spawn. No, of course this game is over, which means yeah, a bronze between Locust and GT. Stop saying Locust. I'm sorry, not Locust. Jeez, Lotar. <laughs> Damn it. You know, I'm, I'm going to call you for it just because I do the same yeah, mistakes yeah. all the time. It's only fair. Yep. <laughs> Congratulations to Milton. He's going to make it to the finals. And that means that we're going to have a quick... No, not a quick. On a quick QH land rematch between Milton and uh, Recall. Wow. Finland versus Norway. Yeah. And I'm sure they're going to be... Uh, Ah, getting all flexible for that, um, but I hope that they're able to take a brief uh, break and just watch GT and Loctar. Going at it, yeah. yeah. That's going to be our next game. Mm. It's going to be the bronze game uh, between Loctar. <laughs> I almost did it. Hey, hey, hey. Loctar and <laughs> GT, the two most flashy players in the scene. And um, yeah, I can't wait to see how that's going to go. Well, I mean, if this was crazy, imagine that. Yeah, if we won't have to imagine it pretty soon here. But yeah, bronze match coming up. That means only two more matches of QH land. I'm kind of sad I was, about it. I was going to say I was uh, like relieved and happy to be done, but no, that's not really true. I'm kind of I'm, bummed. I am really bummed. Yeah. I mean, of Harder course, it's been GT so exhausting yeah. casting for such long hours and uh, you know getting so little sleep. But now that it's almost over, I mean, I want it to continue. Yeah. Well, pretty soon, uh, we'll we'll have each other to play with. Yeah. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, you, did you bring like a laptop or a computer? No, but I'll see lockers. <laughs> oh, I'll still do lots. <laughs> 15 inch CRT power. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. Bronze match coming up. Uh, stick with us. <laughs>
surprise. Uh, before we get into our bronze match, uh, we did make a promise and we're gonna stick with it. A lot of people have been really interested to see more out of Balat. Uh, people have wanted to see some interviews. Uh, we have some footage here that uh, some shady guy gave me. I don't know what's on it. So let's go on a journey together and uh, find out what's there. Eesh. wanted to uh, say something so я хочу поблагодарить дева и все квс сообщество которое помогало чтобы я сюда приехал от всей души и дарю им подарки вот эту русскую водку произведенную в башкирии и башкирский мед из россии он считается одним из самых лучших в мире специально для здоровья и его можно добавить в чай или за место варенья использовать. So I would like to thank from the bottom of my heart to Dev and everybody who made uh, this possible for me to come over here. Uh, and uh, as a gift uh, of gratitude, I presented uh, Bashkir vodka, which is obviously made in the region where I live, and also Bashkir honey, which is believed to be one of the best in the world. And uh, this particular honey is um, uh, good for the health, and uh, so he definitely wants you to be okay. using it. So thank you very much for this. Uh, I'd like to say that it was a huge effort, not only for, for us, but also from the community. But it's worth it, because you are a very nice guy, we are loving to have you here. And uh, as Blue Dog said before, uh, it's important to have all the legends in an event like this, so it's good that you're here. Okay. You're happy with that. And thank you. Yes. Thank you, Bula. It was really great to meet you in person. And now when we play online from Canada and the US versus Russia, I know who's on the other side of the screen. You know, the legend Bulat is actually a real person with <laughs> a great smile. Not a bear. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Not no, a bear, a person. It's fantastic. He will play America or from Russia. He will know how to play. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, we don't really communicate much. All I see is the Bulat smiley face. Not <laughs> 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 even the eyes. Just the mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of the mouth. Yeah. 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 On Wiki is a page, he probably saw it on me. He says, like, you're going to look at him at the Wiki page. Yeah. That's right. That's right. And also, I wanted to thank the Greek который написал пригласительное письмо, благодаря которому я получил визу и смог сюда приехать. И вручить ему тоже вот башкирскую водку. And he also got a bottle of Bashkir vodka. Thank you very much for that. And of course, uh, we in the community wanted Bulat really much to come, so it was nothing. Even my son is a very big fan of yours, so <laughs> it's uh, just plus. <laughs> okay, thank okay. you very much. Еще раз хочу поблагодарить и организаторов и всех всех, кто принимал в этом участие. Огромное спасибо. Once again, big thanks to everybody who made it possible. Yeah, thanks for coming. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Do a group hug now? Yeah, group hug. Yeah, group yes, hug. Yes, yes. Bullock in the middle. Bullock in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's it. That's good.
I think everybody's been looking forward to this. The bronze match yeah. between Loctar and GT. Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> this could be uh, kind of chaotic, you think? Most definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think there will be a point where they both realize, hey, we should stop rushing and maybe, uh, well, you maybe know, not rush? <laughs> <laughs> Knowing GT, I mean, Loctar would play defensively if he has to in order to win. Yeah. But it is also possible that he's going to kind of join in GT's uh, play style. Yeah. So it could become really chaotic. This could be really good, actually. This could be a, a very high quality match. So uh, fingers crossed as we look for them here. They're currently in Arawak. Do I want to trust them? Have they called maps yet? Uh, Don't trust them before they go ready. Mm. I'm gonna just ask, actually. <laughs> this keyboard, <laughs> man. Swedish layout. All right. All right, cool. I'm gonna call it Arawak. It's not gonna be Arawak. But yeah, we just let them know that we're ready. Are we yeah. really? Is that a completely accurate statement? You know, um, I'm kind of energized from the last game. Yeah. So I'm, yeah, that was fantastic. I'm ready. I'm yeah. ready. It was a 3 -0, ready. but it was a, a really fascinating 3-0. It was uh, great seeing exactly what Milton's capable of. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah. Milton not being a dueler is, uh, <laughs> he's a Quake player. It doesn't yeah. matter the mode. Right. He's uh, an insanely skilled Quake player. Oh, fuck. <laughs> 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 All right. All right. It's going to be Arrow. <laughs> no, it's going to be ZTN even. I'm sorry. Yep. I can't map anymore. <laughs> <laughs> now it's ZTN. Jeez. Oh, fuck. Yeah, yep. They're just doing it on purpose. All right. But away we go. It's bronze match time. GT and Loctar right here on the blood run. Loctar up top first with a mega health already in hand. Uh, the LG from GT has got to be respected, though. Can't exactly just go for the red armor just like that. Back around the corner, GT takes a lot of damage. Loctar's rocket jump not quite enough to catch up with GT. But now he's going to be stuck by the stairs and taken on down. Ooh. I have a feeling that Loctar is also going to give us a good show here. Oh, yeah, absolutely. He knows that uh, uh, GT is a very flashy player. And, you know, in the past, before we really discovered GT, Loctar was the guy that was so, so, so flashy. And he's being dethroned, so I'm not sure he's happy about that. <laughs> well, we'll just have to see here, Loctar. Looking to, uh, yeah, block off the, the yellow armor spawn. Make sure that GT doesn't really have a chance to recover on it, forcing him back through the green armor room. Whoa, that oh. LG pops it in. <laughs> Securely locked up by that rocket. Yeah, good start for Loctar. Um, hey, hey. Looked the wrong way down that street, though, as GT's going to be able to take a ton of damage. Oops. And wow, that suicide. I was actually expecting a shotgun there from GT, but no, uh, he helped himself along. Yeah, so far, nothing really flashy, but uh, just a high-skill CTN game. Uh, I'm sure GT would really like to uh, finish third instead of fourth. He has already won the um, Warzone Trophy, of course. Yeah. But, you know, you're never satisfied. Well, I mean, it's, it's a dangerous-looking trophy, actually. I, I, my first thought was, geez, how's he going to get it back into Brazil? <laughs> Oh, yeah, true. Yeah, customers might have a field day with that. <laughs> a little bit too sharp edges. Well, not only that, but Brazilian Customs is uh, is All a right. lot of fun. <laughs> I've got four on two. Uh, and actually, yeah, they're, they're starting to show each other a little bit of caution. They're starting to want to avoid some of these uh, plus forward fights. GT, maybe not so much, though. He was uh, more than happy to come out swinging with the LG. Yeah, Loctar being a Still little bit uh, defensive, I think that he knows very well how GT plays. He knows that GT is super aggressive, so even being Loctar, he's going to back off just a little bit and uh, kind of hoping that GT would run into his own, uh, into Loctar's rockets. Yeah, it's a credit to Loctar that he's been able to stay as defensive here in the rocket launcher room as long as he has. With red back up, GT's got to know that Loctar's got his sights set on him, but can he really afford to go? 
quite that hard on it. Loctar really punishing him a lot with the LG, but coming back into yellow, it's going to be uh, just a green pickup for GT. Wow, so much LG coming out of Loctar. Even with the pickup of the YA from GT, it's not going to be able to uh, come back into red with a very confident looking stack. Yeah, very low kill game thus far. Something you wouldn't expect from these two players. But uh, then again, uh, they both they both seem to really want to win this game. Not giving away anything for free, which is once again something we didn't really expect from these players. Yeah, this is actually a little bit less plus forward than GT and Milton. Yeah. Oh, that's <laughs> a nice trick jump by uh, Loctar uh, coming out of the teleporter. To but it doesn't result in a kill and Loctar making Smart it. recovery from Loctar yeah. too, going back up for the red. Knew that uh, GT was probably gonna be able to escape through the teleporter anyway, uh, but this actually allowed him enough time to figure out which way he was gonna go before coming into Rocket Launcher Room. He's gonna nice. make the jump for the for the red armor, but that's actually gonna cost him a lot of his, uh, a lot of his health because Lockdown was pretty much just waiting for that jump and he put a lot of cells into GT. Lockdown going silent though. Wow. Yeah, not what we were expecting maybe. But Loctar, three frags up. I mean, this could get away from him incredibly fast. I mean, here on Quake World CTN, uh, there's so many spawns in the middle atrium. Yeah. And three frags is nothing if the luck's on Absolutely your side. Absolutely not. And it would actually seem that Loctar was probably watching the game between Milton and GT because Mo uh, Loctar is trying to play the item game, timing all the items rather than attacking and uh, giving us a flashy game. Oh, <laughs> thanks for the pop. Loctar has got a great position now on uh, on Mega and Red, really shutting off GT from either of the exits from the green armor room. Oh, uh, but the LG's worth it. Uh, GT's gonna be weak though as Loctar gets a spawn. He's gonna be taken down by GT's rocket. Getting the spawn on the Mega is not gonna be enough to help him, as that makes this makes this a two frag game. Loctar just going for the one cheeky boom shot shot. Actually, but, uh, it all started with that. Uh, Loctar tried to do a, a, a flashy play, rocket jumping yeah. to get the drop on GT, but that didn't quite work out. Then he just He's, playing GT's game here. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Oh, my God. Lockdown was just uh, following GT, pretty much taunting him. I was expecting an axe to come out there. They are only sitting maybe like four seats away from each other. So I'm sure they're uh, they're vocalizing a bit here. And uh, GT getting the better end of that fight and uh, a couple of spawn frags as well. So he's in better shape than, G uh, than Lockdown. Lockdown is going to get the yellow, though, and well, the rocket jumps come out. Now, Loctar was able to be uh, pretty defensive when he had the lead here, but now that things have turned around ever so slightly, Look, can he actually so lay stacked. a trap on GT? That's what it will take at this point. So Loctar is hoping that GT is going to jump for the red armor when he spawns, but no. Nope. He's been spotted. And he jumps uh, across the grenade launcher anyway. Loctar has got to be careful with those. Oh, careful on the rockets as well. Yeah, him being this weak, I don't know if GT knew about that hit, that self-hit. <laughs> But he's going to be getting away with it. Yeah, it is. Right. yeah, a much slower game than we expected. And this, of course, being Ooh. GT's pick, which means that he's kind of expected to win on this one. Loctar honestly got pretty lucky not to get blapped on that drive-by to the Mega, however. GT's going to know he's down by the stairs and just wants to finish him off, but okay. down to 6 health, lucky not to crater there. Yeah, nice defensive play by, uh, by GT. GT has uh, the rest of the map, but Mega's not up and Red's not up, so he's going to be a little bit tough off. He's able to recover and get some green at least. Red's going to be on the spawn. Loctar is taking his time here. Three minutes left on the clock. Yeah, Loctar not really having any idea when the Mega was going to spawn. Otherwise, he could have made a move there. But he had no idea. And oh my god, there's the oh, backstab uh, from GT. And not want to get caught in the staircase. Yeah, yeah. And, a, and a spawn frag as well. So that brings us to a uh, five different game. It's a place where you're not going to be expecting a fight too often. But when it does happen, it's, uh, it's kind of bad news. Loctar is able to steal uh, Red off of the spawn. GT on the Yellow Armor hallway. Yeah, he doesn't really want to wait for it. So Loctar 
uh, down by six frags. He doesn't really have a lot to gain from this angle other than the LG itself, but it's going to cost him a lot of time. But the LG is going to be good. Looking for the chase and pin with the rocket. So Loctar getting a frag and uh, not really capitalizing on any on any spawn frags, but he's in good shape to get the next mega at least. Yeah, GT is at least enough out of position that Loctar has to put himself out of position in order to force these fights to happen, uh, which does have the uh, side effect of uh, kind of slowing down the frag count, especially here in mid. And Loctar is a little bit too early on the mega. I don't think it actually really ran out yet. And all the grenades coming out of GT and actually connecting with a few of them. So Loctar needs to back off. All that red armor gone. <laughs> Last rocket for Loctar here. He's got oh. a few cells at, as well. GT just finally tightening that noose and finishing off what had to be uh, a fight that ended in a frag. I think both of them realized that. So 13 on six now. Minute 20 seconds left on the clock. GT taking away oh, Mega perfect, Health and perfect time burning it immediately them. to control Yellow Armor, leaving absolutely nothing for Loctar here except one more oh, brave. Oh, so cheeky oh, play from Loctar. Yeah. Didn't quite work out though. Yeah, a bit of damage. Yeah. And one minute remaining, 10 frags, of course, very much doable on this map. Uh, but Loctar needs some spawn frags now, and he needs he really needs to kill GT now to have a shot. Maybe my bad call before about GT and Bloodrun wasn't a bad prediction, but just uh, a realization that GT is better on this than even he thinks he is. Yeah. Yeah, Apparently. I know GT better than GT does. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Loctar really needed this kill, so now he needs some spawn frags. Doesn't get the first one. He's gonna pick up the yellow. No, he's just gonna rock, jump, and do you still need frags, Loctar? That was almost a frag. GT just barely surviving, but this one should be a frag. <laughs> now any spawn strike for... Uh, uh, no? I mean, GT would have to go pretty plus forward here to make this an opportunity yeah. for Loctar to win it back. One really frag every two seconds. Yeah. No. It's not gonna happen. Hey. Okay, so first map is gonna go to GT in a much slower game than we expected. GT should hide on top of Yellow Armor like Wontar did in their 2v2. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful. That's, that's a beautiful way to end the map. So 1-0 GT. All right, we're gonna be going into map two here pretty soon. Of course, this being a best of five series for the bronze, it looks like it's gonna be DM4. Yeah, Loctar going the safe route, and um, he's gonna go with his DM4 pick. I'm expecting this map to be pretty much similar to the Milton versus GT DM4. <laughs> I don't think, think that, yeah, uh, okay, I do. Let's see if, uh, I don't know if, does even GT want to do that? Just a plus forward on DM4 this whole time? Well, depends on the start. I mean, yeah. if, uh, if Lockhart gets like a 12, 13 frag lead in the beginning, I'm sure he's gonna gonna become somewhat, somewhat like that. Well, amazing that the cells went out over the splash damage eventually. And honestly, I really don't know what the pace of this DM4 is going to be. It could be incredibly fast or incredibly slow. Loctar, of course, being very, very uh, experienced on this map, he's going to pick up the red. And if he gets a couple of more frags now, this is going to run away for GT. I think it's going to be another plus forward game if Loctar gets a couple of more frags. But so far, GT is still trying. Oh, Loctar with a get the hit jump just to get some height there, but ends up getting a little punished for it. Not quite fragged, but he's going to be weak. And finally, there's the LG to take him, uh, take care of the rest of his armor. But he's able to get this grab and maybe even recover. The rocket jump not fooling GT at all. No. Nope. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. What a nice vertical There's shaft a from, uh, from uh, GT. The best. And... <laughs> and um, yeah, so far he's trying, and but Loctar gets the return kill, and the uh, also known as the retaliation. GT does get the uh, red armor spawn, but that's all gone now. And this is the point where maybe we yeah. might start seeing some plus forward from GT. Gets a good spawn again, though. And... Yeah, this is still a game, actually, so... Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, in all reality, he's just four frags behind. Right. Him. I mean, and, oof. But if GT keeps diving down like that, yeah. um, it's gonna get away from him very quickly. Yeah. <laughs> nice. 
So is this the point oh, where GT goes, all right, beating. fine. I tried to play DM4, it didn't work out. <laughs> okay, so this is not... Lockdown is not going to get 100 kills like Milton no, did, no. but um, I have a hard time seeing GT really coming through on this map. So if this keeps going the way it is, that would be a tight, tight game between Lock Tower and GT. Uh, you want to actually uh, bank on DM6 being the pick from GT again? Yeah, 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 yeah right, actually. Cool. Yeah. I'm, I'm fine with that. I've come around. That was such a great blood run for GT. It's, it's a little hard for me, admittedly, about this DM4, knowing that GT probably isn't, um, it's either just like legitimate, I've not played this match, this map anywhere near as the rest, so I'm just not gonna be able to play all that well, or I don't like this map very much, so I'm not gonna play it that well. I think that if GT played this map as much as we do in Europe, uh, he would probably enjoy it, just because of the, um, the oh, because of Stockholm of Syndrome, sure. <laughs> <laughs> you could almost call it that, actually. Hey, that's but the first time I've said that this yeah. week, so you should be thankful. And, <laughs> and um, yeah, but uh, I, I'm sure he would appreciate the uh, the pace of this map. Yeah. Since he's just such a close forward player. Maybe the problem is it's just too cramped. There's no room to really rocket jump all that much. Yeah, I think he's got to be able to spread his wings. But there are many other cool things to do. There are fake rocket jumps, and there are ways to trick your <laughs> opponent. I don't know if I've ever seen GT do a fake rocket jump. I'm not sure if that's no. really his style. It's more that's more Lockdown's thing, I think. Yeah. Trying to fool his opponent. I think GT's version of fooling his opponent is, is uh, didn't think I could be here at this point in time. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> it's hard to do on DM4. Yep. But yeah, I think it's fair to say that we're gonna see a DM6 after this one. And, um, and should GT win that, I'm just yeah. gonna predict a DM2 after that. Okay, yeah, I'm fine with that as well. And if we get a 2 2 score, the decider is gonna be on Arawak. Weird. <laughs> We're yep. going to see Arawak go to the fifth map, potentially. Yeah. It's just a guess, though. But yeah. I have a feeling, a gut feeling. I like it. So, yeah, only halfway through. And uh, you said earlier, you know, Lockdown's not going to be able to make as many frags as, uh, as Milton did on GT. I think it's more like GT's not going to feed as many to Lockdown yeah. here. Yeah. But I think GT knows that uh, this map is... Lockdown is extremely strong on this map, and... Uh, very, very, very hard to beat. Oh, and a solid frag from Loctar. This could potentially open things up if GT so chooses. I mean, his LG is going to be fantastic here regardless of what he thinks of the map. Uh, I mean, here's the problem, though. If Loctar starts really feeling like this is slipping away, he can start to, uh, you know, hold down the red, hold down the mega, and forcing GT yeah, and to uh, yeah. just scrape to, out every fight. To be fight. honest, like Loctar, he plays around, he's playing around a little bit. Um, yeah. He knows that he's already won this game, and if he needs to, he could either slow it down or just uh, start really running the items and uh, not letting GT have a lightning gun ever. Yeah, oh, that's a lava bath and a quick. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I want that back. Oh, okay, yeah. he gets the uh, discharge at least. There we go. Like I said, a little bit. Oh, nice mid air rocket from GT. <laughs> but he can't stay down there all this, like the rest of the game. He's just gonna die. But he gets another frag, actually. So. Yeah, so I think it's safe to say that they're both uh, just kind of having a good time. Relaxing a little before coming into what is sure to be a very stressful DM6. Yeah, well, at least. Well, <laughs> I, I we would look really stupid there. if he likes it. He votes Airwalk right away. Yeah, or something. yeah, we would. But I'm, I'm getting used to looking stupid, so it's, it's okay with me. But I gotta say, you know, during the entirety of, of QH land, we've seen DM4 played a dozen uh, ways, at least, uh, between two-on-two -two and uh, even dual. Uh, we've seen fast DM4s, we've seen DM4s with, like, single-digit frags. Uh, it's just been one of those maps, and it's been one of those events yeah, I mean, with uh, every kind of playstyle known under the sun on display. 
Yeah, this is more like a regular uh, casual game. They usually go or like, like this one. And then we've seen the Milton 100 kills. Not 100 score, but 100 kills. Um, and then we've seen um, Recall versus Lotar, where at, yeah. with only like three minutes remaining, they, they were tied at five. <laughs> so 10 frags in like seven minutes on DM4 is very, very rare. Yeah, the only fights that happen are the only fights that happen are the ones that you allow to happen. Yeah. Especially in this map. I have a two and a half minutes, and uh, it's good to know that they are both kind of taking their foot off the pedal. Um, neither of them is really being malicious at this point. So they're just, uh, again, relaxing a little bit. I mean, uh, I'm not, um, I can't judge GT because he's such a good player. But I think that if he really wants to be like the very, very best, he really needs to learn this map. And uh, he needs to move to Europe. I mean, there's only five maps in Quake anyway, so. Yeah. <laughs> Better know them all. Exactly, <laughs> and I mean, knowing four is not enough, and yeah. Locust has a similar problem with uh, DM2. Mm -hmm. He doesn't like the map, and uh, therefore he doesn't really play it. Uh, so uh, he always gets a, a free loss on that one. Yeah, it makes me just wonder about uh, the Kenya tournament we were talking about potentially last night. That'd yeah. Be a lot of fun. Well, I, I think we came to the conclusion that we would have approximately, approximately one sign-up <laughs> uh, named Milton. Two? I like Skull, too. Okay, okay, so Jahar and Milton sitting I in the tree. I like Skull. Skull's a good map. Um, <laughs> it was just made in the wrong millennium. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if uh, Team Willet had made that map in so and uh, <laughs> released it, maybe, maybe that would have been a good map. But... Um, Oops, another uh, victim. Yeah, I must have seen at least, I don't know, 40? Yeah, I was just thinking of that. I need to bring the, the actual lava counter uh, next year, if there is one. And, like, just have a button that we, that yep, we press yeah, every time exactly. someone does. A big fat red button. Yep. Either that or a shot glass. <laughs> uh, the button would be safer, actually. Here comes the axe. <laughs> I'm I gonna get the kill, though. Lockhart with 10 health, doesn't care. No. All right, but final 30 seconds, and that will close this out for just the <laughs> four, and this will put them tied up one to one. Yep. Really close uh, matchup there on Blood Run. Not so much on DM4, but no. I think with GT, we expect this a little bit. Yeah. Uh, like I said, I think he needs to really practice this map because if he can be competitive on this map, then he's really going to be competitive uh, on, on them all. Yeah, absolutely. And be a top contender for every tournament. And he still is, even though uh, DM4 is a free loss. All right, let's see if they troll us here or, uh, or yeah. if we're exposed like the frauds we are. Hopefully, for our sakes, they go over to DM6. Yes, yes. <laughs> uh, we are saved. <laughs> ah, excellent. <laughs> I'm incredibly thankful. <laughs> yep. All right. Let's see how quickly they ready up. Well, very quickly, in fact. Yep. GT gets the better spawn. He gets the Mega. They both spawn over at Mega. But Loctar uh, was the one with the slightly worse spawn. But <laughs> he gets to the red first, though, and gets uh, the next frag. He also made, manages to get down to the lightning gun. That's going to give him another free frag. Now, hmm. I'm assuming hey, this... There it is. That's yep. the first time I've seen it on stream. Yep. <laughs> it's a beautiful trick jump uh, based on a bug. Yep. A really obscure, hard-coded bug. Yep. And... Um, and it worked out well for Loctar. You know, gave him a, a red armor without any opposition from GT. And having three, four frags on the board uh, just in the first minute means that we're not going to be seeing the really, really slow game like we did uh, between GT and Milton. Uh, they've both got something to prove here. Yeah, it seems like they don't want to go just as crazy as they did, uh, as the GT and Milton did. This is a way slower matchup, actually, even though it's Loctar and GT. Um, I'm not actually sure why, but um, <laughs> I mean, a little bit more tactical, I guess both. Uh, neither of them really wants to finish fourth. Right. I mean, yeah. You usually say that you lose the gold 
but you win the bronze. I think for GT, it's very similar to uh, him and Murr in their two-on-two -two team, where, you know, being together, they wanted to rank up a little bit more and, and show a little bit more of their prowess than they did at QuakeCon, which, you know, they got pretty far, but it meant that a bar was set, and, uh, you know, it's something that GT probably wants to exceed at the slam. Yeah. The Loctar three frags in the lead. Uh, he's not going to have red armor just at this point. He's going to have a little bit of that mega left over, though. And GT comes around the corner. Uh, not at a great time, but the damage he dealt out. And there's the finisher with the shotgun. If he can survive in the red armor room or around the red armor room long enough to get that pickup, that could help out quite a bit. Loctar, on the other hand, uh, might be doubling around on this teleporter for the mega, just allowing that trade to happen in order for Loctar to in still enjoy this three frag lead. Yeah, pretty safe grab of the, the LG as well. Not an advantage that GT has. Um, I'm not even sure if he would have a, an LG at this point. Let's go take a look. Yeah, okay, he's got yeah, the pickup. It does. Cool. Uh, yes, of course, we can stay on GT because he needs to chase for a couple of frags. And Lockdown is going to be defensive. I mean, it's the smart thing to do. But it's uh, not necessarily what we expect from Lockter. But I, 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 you know, he's um, uh, he really wants to win. I mean, Lockter doesn't just throw away games uh, if he has a chance of winning. Unless it's team four here. All right, but GT is looking for a way in on Loctar, and wow, the initial hit's so good. Number two and three, not so much, but it's won him the room, and it's won him a red armor, so he's going to be taking this on the warpath. Now looking for Loctar, but he's being incredibly loud about it, so Loctar is going to know exactly what's up, but comes back through the teleporter, facing down GT's LG. Oh, he goes for a very, very hard trick jump there. That rocket jump is extremely hard to do in the middle of the game. Denies the Mega as well. This is uh, bad news in terms of Loctar's yep. ability to take a recovery stack. GT doing what GT does best oh, and some being really almost nice denied stuff. by Loctar. Wow. Oh my god. No, that's a you don't get to do that. Two or three grenades hitting GT and uh, that's going to give Loctar the kill and the control over the red armor. And he also got the lightning gun, so he's in very good shape. Of course, the Mega is going to spawn in like six seconds. And I'm not sure Loctar knows about that though. Oh, He's more Kennedy concerned about this red armor, yeah, keeping that safe. And this. with GT running, was that enough? Well, I guess it was enough time to get the grab. Yeah. But now Loctar is waiting for him at the bottom of the, of the pipe. Oh, thank you. Some more cells. Oof, yeah. 25 health. We've seen this before where Loctar can get Ooh. shot on down. There it is. Three seconds to red. Pretty good timing on that frag. So totally planned out by GT. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he planned for that spawn. And um, he has timing on the Mega, so he's probably going to take this and then drop back. Oh, but he gets uh, thrown into the air by Loctar. So Loctar is going to pick up the Mega instead. Some uh, rocket jumps coming out of GT. Oof. But fortunately, he can recover here. Loctar going plus forward. I mean... Okay, he was looking for the sneak, but uh, surprising GT might not be the thing to do. That'll tie it back up here at 7-7. Seven to seven. This next red armor is going to be incredibly important because we have the mecha coming up a few seconds after that. GT might be able to take this and, yeah, go, uh, go look for Loctar in mid. If not the mega itself, might be willing to let him get the grab. There's the teleporter. Loctar looking for it. Was the grab already there? Oh, oh, oh. oh, wow. Holy crap. Okay, so that's two quick frags for yeah. GT. One was a telefrag. And half the game has gone. And, um, yeah, a small lead for GT and a very slow and methodical game. Still single um, digits here. Yeah. yeah. And... Oh, that was so close to being a frag for GT. Lockjaw just barely dodges that. And that oh, wow. is such a ballsy play by, <laughs> by GT. And Lockjaw almost gets the kill and almost gets the red armor off the spawn as well. But nothing seems to be going Lockjaw's way right now. That's what got him the Warzone trophy, just being able to be in the wrong place at exactly the right time. Yeah. <laughs> like doing, oh my god. And doing a, a rocket jump like that against a lightning gun up just top. Just to get, uh, you know, a better angle. That's all. Yeah, that is such a ballsy play, and he made it work somehow. But now he's doubled the, the frag lead of Loctar here. Not so good news for him. No. So the game's slowing down a little bit. GT's basically just holding his ground here, but here comes the fight. Loctar almost getting the drop on GT, but Loctar, of course, has to back off and restack. And so does GT. The red armor is just waiting for him. 
On the other hand, Loctar will have to wait a long time for that Mega to respawn. And GT might actually go for the attack. <laughs> There's the peak. Yeah, the shoulder peak to see where Loctar is. And oh, oh my god, Loctar gets thrown under the staircase and actually <laughs> kills himself. GT just gave him a long, hard stare. <laughs> hey, hey, caught you off guard. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> I'll take that as a win. Yep. 14 on 6, though. Uh, I mean, here's the thing that kind of sets GT apart on this map, is that even when in control and in charge of the frags, he's still putting a lot of pressure on the player, uh, ostensibly controlling the teleporter and the mega health. And, I mean, it's incredibly risky because, yeah, your opponent's going to get back to red, but I think in GT's head, that just means that they're uh, an easy target to corner. Yes, indeed. And, yeah, nothing really going um, locked our way here. So we are going to see a map four, and I want to say it's going to be DM2. Of course, I think Lockhart has a huge respect for GT's DM2. Yeah, yeah. Um, but then again, Lockhart, he was, um, in the early days, he was known, as, uh, known only as a gimmicky player who only played DM2. <laughs> so he's played countless of hours of right. that map. And he's extremely, extremely good on that one. And I think if there's been one thing throwing GT off here, it's been uh, Longtar's antics. Uh, he has sort of these uh, these fun plays sometimes. Oh, oh, oh my god. god! That jump is so hard to do, and you can sometimes you can get stuck just trying to do it ten times over without without succeeding. And GT just like just like that just does it like yeah. nothing. This is how you get from one place to another. Yeah. How do you do it? Now looking for these uh, pixel hits on the cells. And finally getting the bead on Loctar. Uh, Loctar taking away that red armor, a bit of a missive on him. But he knew that would have given a GT an even easier angle. He got the frack anyway, and that means more conversion on the red. And uh, GT's hungry for more. He's not happy with uh, a three-fold increase on his opponent's score. He wants to get as much as he can before DM6 closes out. The patent is down. Uh, yeah, that's how Loctar gets from green to And what just happened with this mouse? <laughs> He just uh, froze for a little bit there. And apologies to everybody who only has 60 hertz at which to enjoy the game. Um, it's not enough for GT. <laughs> it really isn't. So, um, this map is going to go to GT. There's nothing Lockdown can do about that. And, um, yeah, I'm hoping to see a DM2 because a DM2 be between these two players could be a very good game. <laughs> Absolutely. So, yeah, final minute, and these DM6s have been fantastic, both in the uh, 2v2 context as well as the duels. We have, I, I know you were terrified of seeing a lot of, like, stupidly blowout DM6s, but uh, I'm happy to say that when we've seen it, it's been good. Yeah, actually, I mean, in the past, uh, we've seen games between, like, Lockdown and Recall, and Recall gets the better spawn yep. and just locks down the map, and Lockdown <laughs> never has a chance not getting a single frag in the... Oh, ho, ho, what a grenade <laughs> jump from GT! Thanks. That's some fancy stuff! <laughs> a little bit of uh, exhibition time for them now. Yep. GT showing up some uh, really fancy moves. All right, but it does indeed mean that we're going to be going into a fourth map at the very least here. Yep. And is it going to be DM2 or Arrowwalk? I think DM2, but maybe Arrowwalk and then the DM2. Up, so no, we're going straight oh, to okay. DM2. All right. Neato. All right, so like you said, Loctar's played a ton of DM2, as we've already seen from this tournament and uh, QuakeCon. Uh, GT is no slouch here. No. And this is a very volatile map. If you get a couple of spawn frags in the beginning... Oh, what a nice move by Loctar, just stealing that yellow, which means that he's going to go for the on the offensive, and GT is in a lot of trouble. And Awesome play by Loctar, uh, really understanding the map and where GT was going to go. And here comes the spawn frags, a couple going Loctar's way, and already a 3 nothing lead before we've in, even gone a half a minute into this yeah. game. Not quite fantasy bad luck there, but uh, certainly enough to give Loctar an edge, especially with the stack as GT comes oh. from the teleporter. But you can never count on GT going down, even when he's at a stack disadvantage. 17 health left for him as he takes that frag back. Uh, anticipating yeah. the rockets. Looking both ways before he crosses the street, yeah. 
Oh, nice fight from Lockdown, and he's gonna... Oh, no, the hardest jump in Quake, <laughs> almost claiming another victim, but not quite. Oh, and somehow GT <laughs> survives with 2 HP and gets the frag, and now he's gonna be fully stacked with Omega as well, and he's gonna go on the, the offensive against Lockdown. He's gonna get his kill, and uh, it looks like maybe, yes... <laughs> Is it sad that these shots from GT are starting to look kind of pedestrian to me? <laughs> like, yeah, this is just, this is what you get. So, Titus 4, this is an action-packed DM2. This is the DM2 that we like to watch. And another fight is going to go down in the big area now. Locked are getting not a very good trade there. GT hitting with the grenades and the rockets. So, that's going to put GT in the lead for now. All right, so coming back into uh, hit a big. Moktar's gonna be uh, in the corner for a little bit, coming through the teleporter. GT goes for the grenade, oh. pop first. Oh, no. what? <laughs> what a nice frag from GT. Oh man, what, what amuses me most is the you know, attempt you at... You talk about Loctar being the king of big in, um, in, uh, in mm. DM2. Oh, but, also you know... DM2, yes, also that. <laughs> and uh, But uh, GT showing up to the fights as well. Show, showing us some really fancy moves in the big area. Now, oh. GT is gonna... Is he? Is he really? Dev's whispering in his ear here. Just go hide. Go hide. Okay. This is so weird to see that of him. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this game went from crazy to very, very slow in an instant. So we're gonna switch over to Lockdown. Yeah. See what he does. What Lockdown usually does in this moment is he's gonna gather nails because... Uh, <laughs> and he's he's, actually he's just gonna get some planks, <laughs> get some nails, and board GT up on that side of the map. <laughs> there, I win. Throwing some grenades hits one of them. This is a very tough fight for both what of them, but... Rockets oh my god, and GT survives with just a little bit of HP. 12, 12 HP. And where is he gonna go now? He's probably gonna keep playing defensively. The question is, where is he gonna be? He's gonna be going back to the red mega room, as, as it would seem. It's like damaging GT as he's building up his EX bar, and uh, he's able to pull out a super. Yeah, and GT smells blood in the water. If he wins this map, he's gonna be the, the, gonna take the third place of the one-on-one -on -one tournament. Right, and that's not bad at all, actually. No. That's a that's a good considering the players that are uh, present here. Yep, all of them yeah. actually. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there are very here comes Lockdown. He tries to go for an attack, uh, and oh my God! He's, oh, I thought for a second that GT might actually get the win. I was just going to eat a soda can yeah. if he survived that fight. And oh my God, the double rocket jump for Lockdown very ballsy because just one rocket away from dying. If GT would have hit with just one, so both megas are going to be up very soon. Lockdown is going to. Not go for either either of them. Yeah, the low one. Okay, I actually thought that GT was going to be there. Loctar desperately throwing out a bunch of uh, sonar rockets before going on to silent. Uh, back to teleporter, though. Yeah, 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 GT's back at yellow. Oh, oh two <laughs> missed rocket jumps by Loctar. I can be GT, too, says Loctar. You know, <laughs> small things like that can really get you super frustrated. Yeah, yeah. Especially if you're Loctar when you very, you're very accurate with your, your uh, rocket jumps normally. So a thing like that can really get you tilted. Well, he's got plenty of time to uh, to take a breath here. <laughs> just the wave of grenades coming out of GT. Oh, but he the still trap. pushes in for, for Secret Red. He just doesn't care. And Lockdown can't find a way to damage him either. With only 15 points of that red armor left, he's got to go back here for Red. Oh. <laughs> Had no idea this GT was waiting for him. Lockdown doesn't have any Mega, but neither does um, GT, so he could potentially go for this fight and be on even footings, but... Oh, GT, you sneaky boss, are you? <laughs> You're gonna play defensively against Lockdown? That is so dangerous to do, because Lockdown is one of the best players in the world at chasing frags. Yeah. But now he's gonna have to chase some stack here as, uh, you know... Just because you have so many items available on the map and because it's so large, it's hard to chase and easy to just go and recover. So yeah. if you're assuming there, that your opponent is doing so, you might as well yourself. Yeah. Yeah. And now we are quiet. Yep. There he is. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> so the fight commences and uh, well, both players are going to back off because 
Well, is he gonna chase her? That's the question. Loctar is pushing forward with uh, this stack. He wants the secret red, doesn't want to give it up all that easily. Is GT going to be down at the Y again? Yeah! Oh. Straight to the face. <sighs> Lotter goes, all right, fine. Back to red again. He could potentially rocket jump up to the high mega as well. I think you should know that it's, it is up. Oh no! <laughs> Lotter, be careful. Yeah, yeah. GT's going to hear that. He's... Either at yellow or... Was he at quad? Oh no, he's actually at the rock launcher. Okay. okay. And playing this avoidance game with only two frags is incredibly nail-biting. Yeah, GT is going to continue backing off here. He has a two-frag lead and his uh, strategy is very clear, but there oh. he goes! That's one frag and he's got a slow spawn. It's a little bit too early for uh, slow spawning. Three minutes remaining and now he actually needs to be careful because... Well, he, he needs that to rocket get a rocket before he wants the mega. Oh, but Loctar is just waiting for him. What a read from Loctar. He was just waiting for GT to make the move and try to hide at red mega and... Uh, yeah. There was Loctar just waiting for him. This isn't a... I want to win the game by... Uh, uh, by uh, defending wait for that yellow armor it's just uh all right take a breath yeah he is gonna get the top mega here unless Lockter shows up and has anything to say about that and the first rocket connects from Lockter, but also from gt and gt using Lockter's patented patented oh. move with a rocket jump in the middle of a fight but no Lockter is gonna get the first one is he gonna get the second one you need to hit the rockets it's and he so does weird. late game rockets from gt tend to go a little bit wider than they do at the beginning. There's like a very different like mode shift at GT. Now Loctar in the four frag lead. Yeah. Now things are turned and GT needs to chase some frags. The rocket jump is okay. It's gonna be uh, either finding Loctar here or at least just a stack, so worthwhile either way. And like I said, you don't really want to play defensively against Loctar because he's so good at chasing. But this will be <laughs> a kill for GT or GT actually mad, a suicide. Yeah. Uh, oh, just barely missing him at the yellow. Oh, and he, he thought that um, Lockter was going to go for the drop uh, towards the lower rocket launcher, but um, Lockter did not. Yeah, so GT so far has been priori prioritizing the rockets over uh, early stack items off the spawn because rockets are how GT gets around. So three frags down. Now maybe Lockter is the one hiding. Yep, Lockter's turn. One minute and 23 seconds, and of course, Lockter also wants to win this game, so... But this is an opportunity for GT to crank it up, if he can just get an entrance. Heard the jump onto the platform, and it Almost goes up some nice. Right. Uh, so the attrition damage is going Lockhart's way, yeah, but he survives that fight with only 23 health. Oh, the shotgun almost taking him down, so dangerous. Oh, another failed rocket jump by Lockhart. He's going to be kicking himself for all those failed rocket jumps. And I'm sure that's so frustrating because Lockhart is one he plays on. Um, and GT's probably assuming that uh, Lockhart actually made that jump and uh, was somewhere where yeah. he wasn't going to be. Lost track from there. GT getting oh, a nice frag from Lockhart. That could be it, actually. Yeah, I'm pretty sure because Lockter could just hide or um, go for more, apparently. And he's going to get another one. And yeah, that should seal the deal. So we're going to have a decider on Arrowwalk. On Arrowwalk. Yeah. That's a Not first. very often we see that. It's usually, you know, picked well ahead of things like DM6. And uh, here comes the Axe Battle. Two. Who's yeah. going to win it? Oh, GT runs away. <laughs> Back oh. out, daring him to come over the, the lava. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and they both end up in the lava. That's a nice way to finish off this game. <laughs> and another one from Loctar. Yep. Just for good measure. Done. Wow. All right. So, guys, uh, Arrowwalk, map five. <laughs> this is what bronze matches are made of. Usually ending up being some of my favorite matches, honestly. All right. So the tiebreaker on Arrow Walk. That's something that we don't usually see because people tend to like Arrow Walk that much that they pick it earlier. But not this time. Nope. Here right. we go. Oh, so this is uh, an unusual first couple of spawns. Uh, GT getting uh, the Mega and the, the uh, Yellow, but nobody getting the Red spawn. 
So GT is gonna pick it up and he gets an early lead. But no LG able to really pick this it. one up wow. as well. <laughs> and that was actually a frag with the LG, so as soon as he picked it up, he made the switch. Alright, I'm thinking after that game of DM2, they both got some pent up energy. And Arrowhawk is just the place to let it, let it out. Yeah, it's important for Larta that he doesn't get tilted here uh, because of that very weird spawn. Uh, the first couple of frags going the way of GT, but it's just five frags on Arrowhawk and we've only played 45 seconds. So no need to panic for Larta, but I'm sure he has the experience to understand that himself. But at the same time, GT realizing that he <laughs> is going to have oh. a little bit of a difficulty if he can't just get a few spawn frags, so he's eager to make the one and uh, follow up as much as possible and give himself a little bit of breathing room, because if there's one thing that's been true this series, none of these leads have been significant enough to rest on. Now, Lockdown needs to frag pretty soon, or else he might lose his temper because he's had some very bad spawns and uh, GT has been given a couple of free spawn frags. And you know how frustrating that can be when yeah. you just keep spawning in, your, in, the, in the enemy's face. <laughs> just giving away free frags without anything that you can do about it. There's a little bit of spam on the red armor. GT, plenty of uh, mega health left over. Looking maybe for this yellow. He's looking to bait the yellow. He's like, fine, I'll take it, I guess. Oh, oh the drop's a lot but he's still not going to win the fight. Could not make that close range LD, LG connect. So GT's going to extend his, his oh. lead to nine, but that's going to be a bit of a mutual. GT's still going to have the red armor not quite having enough speed for the jump, though. Means he's got to go search for a fight here beforehand. Nice timing on the mega. And Loctar does have the red armor though, so he is in good shape as well. And this one maybe goes in the favor of Loctar. No, GT manages to run away and uh, Loctar doesn't really find him. I, I'm sure he was looking for him, but there we go. And this should be a spawn frag and maybe another one. Yeah, uh, nope. Yep. Oof. Now uh, GT might get a little bit of a breathing, breathing room here, but uh, Loctar is in control of the map now. So this is Lockjaw's time to shine. And if anybody ever sees any uh, missed shots or missed opportunities or things that look really weird, I would urge everybody to remember that uh, games have been going for 14 hours so far today after 15 hours of uh, yesterday and uh, only eight on the first day. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So these guys have got to be running on either fumes or what seems more likely to me, pure adrenaline. Oh, what a nice kill from GT. Lockdown had the opportunity there, but uh, GT with some nifty moves, dodging the rockets from Lockdown and hitting his own. Oof. Nice oh, play but the that's water. a suicide. Yeah. And that's an opportunity for Lockdown to get this red. GT is being cautious here, though. He's got the LG. He's like, that's that's all I need, actually. This green will be just fine. Yo, it's going to be a nice upgrade for him. He's expecting a long time around that corner now. He's done it often enough that GT's getting wise to his tricks. GT's had to start from, like, almost no real information, like, intimate information on any of these players uh, before QuakeCon, and he only had, like, two days' worth of it there. Yeah. That's difficult. And that's a weird drop from Lockdown, and it might cost him his life, but GT is going to run away. He ran out of ammo, but he is going to pick up the cells, and that seals the deal for GT on that frag. And oh, oh my god, the spawn frags coming out of GT. Like I said, we don't have enough frames for him. Yeah. And maybe another one as well. He's going to pick up this red when it spawns. Oh, actually, it's already there. Mega for Lockdown, but this relentless attacking from GT. That's gonna be enough to take him down, you know? And that time it's actually cost him. But uh, that's kind of how GT plays. It's a, he's a gambler. Yep. But 60 health and a, a green armor. He's gonna be happy enough to uh, try to use this LG to get some damage done. He's not happy with this 13 frag lead. Of course, this is Arawak. Uh, we can easily see, you know, a, a 100 frag margin. But once we get up to these guys, they, they know what's up. They're not willing to throw any of these fights away. Ooh, almost getting the drop on Lockdown there. He was not prepared for that one. But Lockdown is the one with the superior stack. 
GTs. Oh, he was actually going for the Telefrag, <laughs> but instead Lockter is the one who gets the Telefrag. I'm gonna switch over to Lockter yeah. and see it from his perspective. Oh, and just as I do that, GT spawns red armor. And Lockter needs to be careful here. He's gonna pick up the yellow. The mecha should be up fairly soon. Locked of course, knowing that GT has the red armor, this is going to be a very, very dangerous fight. But no timing on the mega from GT, so it's going to be free for Locktar. Now, Locktar knows that the red is up, Whoa, so he's going to be okay. fully stacked. And oh, but that's the drop from GT. Very uh, interesting tactic. Let your opponent get fully stacked and uh, immediately start LG. Oh my god, and there it goes. The fight. Yeah. No red, no mega, just all GT. Are looking a little confused out of that teleporter. I feel like, where even? Uh, wait, here comes the red jump. Cool. And a mega for GT. So GT is actually more stacked than Lockdown, even though he has the red armor. But the yellow armor and the mega are way stronger than just a red. And GT is gonna get a fairly clean fight, actually. Not much, not much damage being done to GT. And a couple of more frags, and only three minutes and 30 seconds remaining. Wow. And uh, this is gonna be close. Lockdown needs to step it up the last couple of minutes here. Yeah, it will take a lot for him to go on a rampage here. And uh, as we've seen, GT under pressure, uh, when he's very low on health and stack, is able to do uh, a lot of damage and prevent a, a full run. So Lockdown's gotta do something clever here. Oh, actually, that, that seems actually more like a miss on that red armor for Lockhart. Maybe a little bit frustrated with uh, the spam. <laughs> nice offensive rocket keeping GT off his back long enough to get that yellow. GT is still so very stacked, and Lockhart can't seem to find get a break. And, you know, um... Lotta really needs the, the next Mega, and then he needs to start fragging because the the clock is ticking, as we've been saying. Yeah. Um, no timing on the Mega, though, and that's all. Oh, and GT just hunts him down. So that's an additional frag for GT, and this is looking dire for Lockhart. Is GT going to clinch the third place? Uh, that would be a great win for him. I think that would be... Uh... Maybe not the thing that he would be happiest with, but, you know, I can't put myself in his shoes, but I would think it would be uh, so that, a nice title yeah, to take home. That frag and this one was so important for Lockhart. He needs to chase for frags now and spawn frags. And no! <laughs> he gets telefragged by GT right off the spawn. And GT gets another frag and spawn frag. And that might have been Lockhart's opportunity unless he can get a kill very, very soon. Well, it's Mega and Yellow. It's a... Good time to find GT and go on the rush. GT's gonna be slowing it down a little bit, drawing a line of the sand at the red armor. Lockhart's gotta be frustrated with that. It's gonna be a difficult push up the yeah, stairs, especially with the with weapons the there. Lightning gun. Yeah. So he's gonna get the yellow. He needs to make up for 10 frags in just one minute and 20 seconds. I have a feeling that GT might clinch the third place here at QH Land 2017. And I, I'm sure he could, well, okay, maybe not. I was going to say he might be able to just take the trophy home and claim that he won. <laughs> now, but, this is the pretty much the last push from Lockdown. Yeah. A last, last ditch effort, and mm, well, still a slight chance. GT around the corner, just ready with that LG. Lockhart expecting a uh, push back through the teleporter. Doesn't quite get it as GT actually slips oh. out from under him. And once again, with almost no health, finds Lockhart. Lockhart actually standing on the pad for a second. Yeah, I think he realizes that this game has, uh, has slipped through his fingers. For all intents and purposes, yeah. yeah. And just for good measure, he's gonna play it out, of course. And yeah, he realizes it. <laughs> Let's GT suicide onto him. Unfortunately, here there's no lava for them to uh, take a bath in together. Yep. So they're just, yeah, they're just playing around with each other. They know that this is over, and a huge win for um, GT to take the. Oh, what a nice ending! And no, almost another one. And not yeah. quite. Yeah, 21 to 12. The uh, score doesn't really tell the whole story there.
What a fantastic matchup. What a fantastic series. And yeah. Bronze will be going to GT. Yeah. Locust wins nothing but our hearts. And I don't know if you could tell on stream, but we had a, a big round of applause for yeah, GT for beating Loctar and taking the... Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you almost confused me there. <laughs> I was like, what? what, what, what? <laughs> All right. So I think uh, with that in mind, we yep. are now looking forward to the epic grand finals. Milton. The grand finals. Milton. Recall. It's a rematch from QH Land 14 in 2014. That is three years ago. We're going to have to see how much has changed over the past several years and... Uh, how much hasn't? So, guys, we're going to get that queued up. I think everybody's going to take a little bit of a breather. I well, know. Let's I have go to. ahead and get this going.